हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार राजकृष्णा दिस साइड आई होप यू आर ऑल आर इन साउंड हेल्थ एट द मोमेंट सो लेट्स सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द कार्ल पियर्सन कोफिशियंट ऑफ स्क्यूनेस फ्रॉम द डेटा गिवन बिलो सो वी हैव बीन गिवन अ डेटा इट इट इट्स इन द फॉर्म ऑफ द क्लास इंटरवल सो in the previous video we saw how to calculate the carl pearson's coefficient for an ungrouped data and this time we have the grouped data and that too in the form of class interval so let's see how we can uh, move ahead with this so in carl pearson coefficient what we have to find sk if i say that there we need mean there we need mode and the standard deviation so let's calculate uh, let's draw the table for that i hope you are keeping calculator handy if not then also you can uh, do uh, your calculations but yes uh, having calculator is a uh, advantage for you so first of all we'll have the income it's in rupees then uh, let's write the income so first we have 400 to 500 then we have 500 to 600 600 to 700 as you can see the width is 100 and going till 900 now whenever we have this type of data we prefer to find the midpoint okay so midpoint uh, let's call that m so the midpoint in each case uh, will be sum of the lower limit and upper uh, limit value divided by 2 so 900 divided by 2 is going to give you 450 then just keep adding 100 to this of uh, uh, 1100 divided by 2 will be 550 and again in every case you don't need to calculate just keep on adding 100 to this 650s and 750 then 850 Next, we'll be writing the frequency as it is uh, from the data given in the question. So, frequency will be eight, sixteen, twenty, seventeen, three. So, frequency I am denoting by F, and that is eight, sixteen, twenty, seventeen, and three. That's it. Uh, what we needed from the question. Now, what's next will be. will uh, reduce this data a bit just by doing one simple adjustment that is will assume a value from this uh, 450 to 850 uh, uh, there are uh, five values you can take it uh, assume any value from it okay so uh, let's say i'm assuming the mid value that is always a better choice uh, but you can assume any other as well so i am assuming this 650 let's highlight this okay so i am assuming 650 in this case so 650 if i am assuming so from every value in m because now m is my representative of x uh, data sets uh, which we are having so from every m we'll have to subtract 650 from it and we'll have to divide by the width of the class which is 100 in this case 400 to 500 the width is 100 okay so do it for every uh, m and let's call this value d so 450 minus 650 will be minus of 200 divided by 100 so minus of Again, minus of hundred divided by hundred minus of one zero. 
again this is minus of 1 and this is minus of 2 sorry plus of 2 because 750 minus 650 is 100 100 divided by 100 is 1 next uh, will be FD frequency multiplied by this D this will need both for the standard deviation and the mean so F into D so F into D minus 16 minus 16 0 17 and 6 and for standard deviation specially we will need FD square so 8 into 4 is 32 16 0 17 and 12 that's it for the table uh, we'll need summation in some cases so uh, we'll calculate that as well so i will need specially the summation f which will be uh, i'm not using calculated till now so 20 20 40 and 40 and 16 is 56 and 864 is what i am getting and this especially we call this as n now i don't do i need summation d uh, no i don't need uh, that i need summation fd uh, for both for the standard deviation and for the mean so this is uh, 17 and 6, 23 minus 32. So that is going to give you minus of 9. And as far as summation fd square is concerned, this is going to give you 32 and 6, 38, 48 and 7, 55, 65, 67 and 77 is what we are getting from. Now let's uh, move in. Uh, first, I will calculate the mean. So your mean will be. Now we are getting from this from the assumed mean, which we have assumed it to be. What you assume? Six fifty, I guess. Yes, uh, six fifty was the assumed mean. So that 650 uh, was the assumed mean. So write this as A. So formula goes like this. I hope you have studied it in earlier classes. Let's uh, just recap this. It is A plus summation FD divided by N multiplied by whatever the class width was there. So mean, let's say that x bar is A, which is 650 plus summation FD came out to be uh, minus 9. Summation F, which we are also calling as N, that came out to be 64. As you can see in your uh, own notebook, don't just come here to watch the video, but also to solve it parallelly so that you get uh, confidence as well. So this is 64 in the class width as we are talking uh, from the initial uh, problem itself. So this is 100. Okay, Class width is just the upper value minus lower value for all the cases. So it is 100 in each case. So 100. So uh, I hope I will need a calculator in this case. So let's use it. So, although in earlier classes we were not given calculator, but uh, while doing it for engineering courses, we have that advantage of using the calculator. Minus 900 by 64. So, this we are getting as 635.937. So approximately if I write 635.937, so 635.937, so 94. So we have successfully calculated the mean. We'll come to standard division later on. First uh, jump into the calculation of mode because that is also required. So, because it's a uh, uh, 
group data and that too in terms of class interval so calculating mode is also not that easy as it used to be in frequent, normal frequency distribution you directly say okay this data has appeared most number of times so that is mode but in this case it's a uh, slightly bit complex so in mode uh, see which data which interval in which interval your frequency is the highest one so as you can see this 20 is corresponding to 600 to 700 so your 600 to 700 will be your modal class as we say it so your mode will be lower limit of this class which is 600 plus now we will have to look at the frequency of that class that means the modal class the class above that and the class below that I repeat we will have to look at uh, this frequency of this current class which we will say as F1 then we will have to look at the frequency of the class above that is 16 and the class below which is 17 okay so f1 as i will tell the frequency of the modal class which is 20 the frequency of the class below modal class and above modal class now i have to uh, tell so above modal class it is 16 and below it is 17 And the, what is the formula? The formula is F1 minus F0. So 20 minus uh, 16. Uh, I am writing the formula below. Mode is lower limit plus F1 minus F0. 2 times F1 minus lower means above which is F0 and below which is F2 multiplied by the class width so 20 is f1 minus 16 which was below divided by 2 times the modal class frequency which is 20 minus 16 minus 17 multiplied by 100 ok so this is 600 plus uh, 20 minus 16 is 4 and in denominator I will have 20 minus 16 minus 17 and this is multiplied by 100 so this we are getting as 500 and 69.230 uh, 2 times F1 is there so we will have to use 40 there not 20 so now uh, let me check it again I have used 20 in calculation so I will have to replace it by 40 so this time I am going to 657.14 is the mode. So take care of your calculation. Don't miss uh, that 2 in the denominator. So it is 657.14. So this is your mode. This was your mean. And the last target is to find the standard deviation. Which is again under root summation fd square by n minus summation fd by n whole square ok and this will again be multiplied by h so we see 
this then uh, summation f d square we have 77 and we already have that is 64 minus summation f d was minus 9 by 64 square multiplied by if you multiply inside that is that square outside that is h so let's calculate this under the root 77 divided by 64 minus uh, minus 9 divided by 64 whole square okay and this is being multiplied by h which is 100 so 108.78 so approximately if I write 108.8 this is your standard deviation. Finally, uh, if I were to find the Carl Pearson coefficient of skewness, in short, SK, that is mean minus mode divided by standard deviation. So, what was your mean? Uh, your mean was 635.94. Mode came out to be 657.14 and the standard deviation. So 635.94 minus 657.14 divided by 108.8 and this is coming out to be uh, minus 0 0.1948 1948 so I can write this as 195 so as you uh, see uh, the that value of uh, Carl Pearson coefficient uh, I'm forgetting let uh, let me see yeah, that lies between minus 3 and 3. So, as you can see, it is always lying between minus 3 and 3 also in this case. So, as you can see, uh, we had to calculate for three things. First was uh, your mean, then the mode and then the standard deviation and plug all the three in this formula of Carl Pearson coefficient and you get it. So, because it was in the form of class interval, so finding mean was a bit complex than the ungrouped data one so you have to use the assume mean method for that you have to calculate mode you know how to calculate it for class interval type data and the third one was standard deviation means directly we have to plug in the values and after doing all this the obtained value of mean mode and standard deviation put that in the formula of uh, Carl Pearson coefficient for skewness and there you get minus 0 0.195 is your final answer so that's it for today we'll see you with some more problem this playlist is method of dispersals i hope you will uh, follow that for more such problem thanks again